Rachel Cadden with VintageRock.com here with Ricky Phillips of Styx. How are you doing, man? Rachel, I'm doing great. Nice. So we're here at NAM, uh, 2010 in Anaheim, California. 2010. 2010. Can you believe it? It's unbelievable. No, I can't. I've probably been coming to this show for 25 years. Way before I was yeah, born. Yeah, yeah. I was well on the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so what's new with Sticks? What's going on? Bass player for Sticks. Yeah. You guys are on tour. Tell me what's happening. Sticks is actually, uh, we have a run of about six shows. We're starting tomorrow night, right right next between us and Disneyland at uh, the House of Blues. And uh, then we go home for a few weeks and, and do it again. Sticks has got sort of the ammo of doing we uh, probably over 200 days on the road, which means anywhere from 110 to 130 shows a year. That's a lot of shows. That's a lot of time on the road still. It is. It is a lot of time, but we have a blast. We've got a lot of great fans across the country and in Canada. And uh, usually every other year we get over to Europe or the UK and uh, it keeps us busy. How long have you guys been touring? Well, since 2003, I've been on really on the road. Seriously. I mean, I'll get home sometimes for three weeks. Uh, occasionally, I might be home for an entire month, but it's very rare. And obviously, when you're on tour, there's a Something that's important to you and to Styx is high quality sound systems, microphone systems. Absolutely. So, so tell us a little bit, we're here at the Electrosonics booth, tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, well I can tell you exactly about that. Electrosonics is something I discovered on my own. I was trying to find something, I get very frustrated as a bass player getting a, a sort of an unnatural compression that happens when you have to use wireless systems. We're all over the stage, we run, you know, I, Tommy Shaw and I switch mics at one point, point during the show, then we switch back. Um, sometimes I'm back by the drums. Stage, staging is huge these days, especially if you're doing the summer runs. So the, the cabling is inconvenient, so we have to use wireless systems. All the wireless systems I was using were not, um, they were, I would fine tune my basses to get them exactly the way I want them to sound, and then these were coloring them in a way I wasn't, wasn't liking. So I discovered Electrosonics, which is the booth we're in and the, and the uh, product I love to help promote. I tell all my friends about it. Um, it's the first time I've been blindfolded and they put the just a straight cable into an amplifier and then switch to the wireless system. And I couldn't tell the difference. I got lost. I, I thought I could tell like, and I couldn't. And that's what you want. You want the work that you do to create your sound to remain uh, all the way to the ears of, of your listening audience. So uh, I'm thrilled about this product. They have uh, a brand new uh, device, which is also a system, uh, it's a wireless system that you can actually, from your, your belt control, reach around and turn the mix of the band up or down, or your uh, solo instrument, my, in my case the bass, if I'm not hearing myself, I can turn it up, if I'm drowning out my band, I can turn it down. It has other features, uh, which I'm just learning about, it's a brand new product, but um, that's one thing that I know other players are gonna, are gonna wanna know about, because it's the only, this is the only company that does that. And um, yeah, that's, a, that's, that's kind of in a nutshell, all the things that are important to me about Electrosonics, but a lot of people are using them, horn players, guitar players, Neil Sean's gonna be here tomorrow, my old bandmate from Bad English, and um, a lot of cats are learning about it, and it's, it's out of Albuquerque, great folks, Carl Winkler, who is my buddy over here, who's the brains behind the outside. Carl. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and it's, it's all good, it's all good. I mean, if there's, if there's any questions you've got about it, I'm here to answer. All right, well come check it out here at NAMM. I'm, I'm Rachel Cadden with VintageRock.com. Yeah, one more question for him. Uh -oh. Where did you get your jacket? Where did I get my jacket? <laughs> I actually got my jacket here in LA. Did you? Yeah, I did. I, it was like one of those finds where you're looking and that. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah. Later on, you're going to see me sporting it, possibly. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> thanks a lot. All right. Thank All right. You. Thanks. Uh,